Right now, another blast of winter weather heading our way. A couple of alert days in your forecast. Also, day two of the trial today for the DCI agent involved in the shooting of Quadron Wilson. We'll share the latest. And Wisconsin's film industry sits at a crossroads. Why filmmakers might be taking their talents elsewhere over the Badger State. You're watching News Three Now at 5. And thanks for staying with us. A live look at the Capitol tonight. It'll look much different in 48 hours as snow is on the way. Our first warned weather team has been tracking this system since it first popped up last Sunday. For more on how much snow we could see Thursday night into Sunday morning and how it could impact your morning commute, let's get a look at the first warned forecast with Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington on the weather patio. Hi, Alex. Hey there, Susan. Hey there, Eric. I was just looking up at the sun out there. You just would not know that in 36 hours, the clouds are going to be filling on in and then we're going to have snow on Friday. It's chilly out here right now, but this is what we're preparing for. The first one weather team, we've been talking about this for days for all of southern Wisconsin. Alert day for that Friday morning commute starting very late on your Thursday night. Still thinking two to five inches of total snow accumulation across the area. Let's get right to it here. The heaviest amounts at this point in time shift Lifting a little bit further to the south, catching areas along I-94, including Madison and points towards the north, lesser amounts to the south, and then a very sharp cutoff near the Wisconsin-Illinois border. But that track may vary some. It's like I said, it's shifting a little bit further to the south. It could shift a little bit further to the south yet. Right now out here, it's chilly for this time of year for a change. 34 in Madison, 36 in Lone Rock, 37 to the south in Janesville. Right here in Dane County, 34 again in Madison. We've got 37 to the southwest in Verona. So it's a bit on the cool side right now and planning the rest of your evening quiet, but chilly tonight. We track that storm hour by hour, and then we talk about the next set of alert days coming up in Maine weather. See you then. All right, Alex, thank you. Today was day two of the Mark Wagner trial. He's charged with recklessly endangering safety for firing his gun at an unarmed suspect while working as a DCI agent. Today, Deputy James Plenty took the stand answering questions about the incident on February, uh, February 20th, 2020, 2022. Various photos of evidence from the scene were shown, including the inside of Quadron Wilson's car after the shooting. The deputy was also shown a picture of a ballistic shield and demonstrated to the jury how law enforcement properly carry one. Evidence on display in court today included the shield and weapons at the scene of the crime. A 22-year-old woman is dead after a two-vehicle crash in Elba early this morning. The initial investigation shows the woman's vehicle was heading westbound on State Highway 1660 when it crossed the center line and collided head-on with another vehicle eastbound. The woman pronounced dead at the scene. The other driver, a 60-year-old man, was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. That crash remains under investigation. The cost for inhalers could be cheaper for many Wisconsinites. Senator Tammy Baldwin announced two more of the four major inhaler manufacturers have committed to capping their costs. Three out of those four companies will now only charge $35 per month. This comes after insulin manufacturers capped their costs for Medicare recipients as well. Senator Baldwin says that's due to increased pressure from Congress. One of the manufacturers of insulin voluntarily dropped the out-of-pocket price to $35 for everyone else, even people who weren't on Medicare. And again, it shows that um, when we provide scrutiny, when we demand transparency, um, we can see some real change. Baldwin says she expects the federal government to continue to put pressure on inhaler manufacturers to keep prices down. A nonprofit that provides affordable dentistry in Madison is looking to relocate. Affordable Dental Care of Madison has set its sights on a new location at the Northgate Center at the corner of Aberg and Sherman. The nonprofit helps those who have neglected their oral health needs due to cost, fear, or education. The relocation is aimed to eliminate barriers to dental care for the overall well-being of the community. We are serving the uninsured and underinsured. Uh, people pay out of pocket reduced fees. Uh, we don't do income verification. We are all about access and affordability. 
Now they have a projected move-in date of the fall of this year. Affordable Dental Care of Madison will also be hosting its inaugural gala, Sparkles and Smiles, from 5 to 10 on Saturday evening, April 20th at Monona Terrace. It looks to raise awareness on affordable, compassionate dental care in the Madison community. Governor Tony Evers signs a measure to create a statewide electric vehicle charging network. The move frees up nearly $80 million in federal construction aid and makes it easier for gas stations convenience stores and other businesses to operate those stations selling electricity by the kilowatt hour without being regulated as an electric utility. Well Wisconsin is known for a lot of things cheese of course the brewing industry and cows. But one industry is left largely untapped in our state. Our Maddie Heimsch gives us a look at the film industry and how it could soon change here in Wisconsin. For every $9 Minnesota spends on arts funding, Wisconsin spends 18 cents. A bill to incentivize film production in the state is looking to even out that imbalance. Wisconsin is one of only 10 states that doesn't have these incentives in place, but it hasn't always been that way. I remember there were government agencies that were that were involved in, in film and television production, but, uh, but they went away. And I do think it's overdue time for them to come back. The state's film incentive program was discontinued in 2013, leaving several writers, actors, and production crews to take their talents out of state. Film production companies go where it's cheapest for them to make their films. According to the Internet Movie Database, about 2,500 films and TV episodes have been shot here in Wisconsin. But compare that to 26,000 that have been shot in Illinois, a state with a strong incentive program. If these incentives pass the legislature, it is an opportunity to keep those burgeoning filmmakers here. So again, this is a really a great opportunity for Wisconsin to to, to retain that talent. Experts I spoke with explained that more filmmaking in the state would affect more than just cinematographers. Hosting productions provides a boost to the state's tourism, hospitality, and service industries. I do think we're missing out on, on, a, on a major opportunity uh, for revenue and for also just, you know, how great would it be to have major and minor movies and TVs being shot right here in Wisconsin. Reporting in Madison, Maddie Heimsch, News 3 Now. The Wisconsin Beef Council is raising money to purchase beef for families in need. The fundraiser starts today and ends April 2nd. With the help of a local clothing company, the Beef Council is selling gray and black t-shirts, long sleeve tees, and sweatshirts. The Wisconsin Beef Council has donated $7,000 to Feeding Wisconsin over the years. The shirts will be available until April 2nd and can be purchased online at WI Beef council.com next tonight at five the stakes are the highest for the badger men's basketball team and the wisconsin women's hockey team this week friday will be a roller coaster of emotions as the men's basketball team is back dancing and the women's hockey team looking to punch its ticket back to the national championship taking on colgate in this year's frozen four but don't worry news three has you covered from every angle let's check in with our crew during their road trip out east What's up, everybody? You got Andrew, Zach, and Armand here. We are driving all the way to Brooklyn to watch Wisconsin. Wait, 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 wait. Actually, I'm the one driving. You guys are passing the time by filling out your brackets on our Facebook page. Yeah, yeah that's true. And you guys can join us because we're going to be live streaming as we fill out those brackets for each four regions. Just head over to the News 3 Now Channel 3000 Facebook page where we'll be constantly doing Facebook updates, and you can join us in filling out your March Madness bracket. We'll see you in Brooklyn. Keep Banstra in the back seat. Always good. <laughs> With the March Madness Tournament, here are a few programming changes to be aware of the next couple days. Starting tomorrow, News 3 Now at noon will be preempted, as well as Friday due to the basketball. The News 3 Now at 6 will air at 5.30 instead of the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell. And then finally, News 3 Now at 10. This is always our favorite. It airs way after its normal time after the final game wraps up on CBS. And here's another warning of a programming note for tonight. The Bucks take on the Boston Celtics 
right here on WISC TV tonight at 6.30. So Survivor and the Amazing Race will be on Television Wisconsin at 3.2. Survivor begins at 7, Amazing Race starts at 8.30, and once the Bucks game is over, Amazing Race will come back on the air in progress and continue on TW. If you can't access TW, you can watch CBS primetime programming the next day on CBS.com. And just ahead, Chief Meteorologist Alex Harris complete details on the snow in the forecast and the latest details on the legal back and forth happening over immigration laws that's next at five and strong numbers on Wall Street the Dow surges more than 401 points Nasdaq up more than 202 the S&P 500 gains 46 we'll be right back what you see is important that makes quality eye care important too Get personalized care from experienced optometrists at Shopco Optical. Better eye care. You'll see. Don't need glasses. See us for your contacts and save on your annual supply. Oh, the weather. What's the chance of rain tomorrow? Ooh, 80%. I make it rain. I make it rain. <laughs> Speaking of making it rain, at Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison, we have an average 95% payout, which leads you to more chances of playing longer and more chances to win big. Play longer, win more, chances are you're gonna like it. Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison. We wanted to be able to enjoy all four seasons, and patio enclosures helped us make that dream come true. The one and only patio enclosures. Looking for a better probiotic? Try Florigen. It's refrigerated behind the pharmacy counter to maximize freshness and potency and deliver three times more good bacteria for supercharged digestive and immune support. Ask your pharmacist for Florigen probiotics today. Are record high energy costs putting a squeeze on your fixed or limited incomes? While you haven't asked for it, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy assistance providers are here to help. No Wisconsin resident should ever have to face the challenge of living without heat or power or face homelessness. For a hand up, apply today. Catch the Bucks on Broadcast TV when they clash with the Celtics on your new local home for select Bucks games. Watch as Giannis and the Bucks show up to Boston to tangle with one of the top teams in the league in an Eastern Conference showdown. Don't miss it when the Greek freak gets unleashed. Bucks, Celtics, on your new local home for select Milwaukee Bucks games. Tonight at 6.30 on WISC TV 3. Your eyewear should be as individual as you. With Shopco Optical's extensive selection of frames and lenses, our optometrists will learn about you and help you customize the right choice for your lifestyle. Visit Shopco Optical and find your new signature style today. Alert day conditions are expected for the Friday morning commute. At 6, I will discuss why the snow may struggle to accumulate in some areas of southern Wisconsin. Then a local musician had his livelihood stolen from him. How the community is banding together to help the artist tonight at 6. Get your bracket on with the News 3 Now Bracket Challenge. Make your tourney picks for a chance to win a $500 gift card and see how your bracket measures up against the News 3 Now sports team. Register and fill out your bracket now at channel3000.com. You're watching News 3 Now at 5, moving forward. Well, welcome back. Yesterday, the Supreme Court kicked an argument over a Texas immigration law back to the courts. The decision allowed the law to immediately go into effect, but that reprieve only lasted a few hours. Natalie Brand has more from Washington, D.C. Texas law enforcement for now cannot detain migrants suspected of entering the country illegally after an appeals court paused a new state law while it hears arguments on the matter today. Texas has decided that we are at the epicenter of this crisis. We are on the front line. Uh, and we are going to do something about it. Texas Senate Bill 4 would not only allow state authorities to make arrests, but it could allow state judges to issue deportation orders. This is the first time it seems to me that uh, a state has claimed that they have the right to remove illegal aliens. 
Sheriff Martin Cuellar of Webb County, Texas, says he has concerns. We're not immigration officers, and we have to get trained to make sure that we are following the rule of the law. Attorney Kathleen Bush Joseph with the Migration Policy Institute says she's worried about confusion on the ground and the legal precedent it could set. Talk about what you think the implications of this bill could be if it were to take effect. This would absolutely be a sea change for uh, over a century. The Supreme Court has upheld the principle that the federal government sets immigration policy. While the fight plays out in the courts, Mexico's government has already said it will not accept under any circumstances people deported by the state of Texas. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington. President Biden, whom Republicans blame for the increase of migrants at the border, is campaigning in Arizona and Texas today. Many voters will have a tough decision on Election Day because a new poll found they really don't like either party's presidential candidate. A recently released Pew Research Center poll found a quarter of the American public holds negative views of both Joe Biden and Donald Trump. Younger Americans are more likely than their older counterparts to fall into the double negative category. 37% of Americans who don't identify as either Republican or Democrat don't like either candidate. A scant 2% report favorable views of both Biden and Trump. Well, let's get a look at your first warrant forecast. Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington now joining us with snow on the horizon. Yeah, you'd think that we wouldn't have any more snow after all of these warm days and warm weeks. Well, we've got snow on the way. We've been tracking it for days, accumulating snow for all of southern Wisconsin. Total accumulations Thursday night going into Friday morning. We've been eyeing up two to five inches for days here on the first one weather team. Rest of the week staying cold. There's those alert day conditions Thursday night and Friday. And another set of alert day conditions for rain or snow rather changing over to rain on Sunday going on into Monday and those three things that you need to know out there. Temperatures tonight, we got to talk about that first before we get to the alert day. What can you expect tonight? Waking up tomorrow morning, 21, 22 degrees as the clouds increase across southern Wisconsin. A cloudy day, temperatures in the lower to middle 30s, quiet. It's that calm before the weather system. Where is that weather system right now? It's way over portions of the northwestern United States. It's going to be riding up along the Rockies and starting to spill into the Rockies and out into the plains as we speak right now and it's on its way to southern Wisconsin, so let's track it. Here we go, marching forward Friday morning, midnight. Snow showers breaking out across much of southern Wisconsin, especially for, let's say, I-90, I-94, and off towards the south and towards the west. We've been tracking this weather system being a little bit more towards the no north, but now weather indications are bringing this weather system a little bit more towards the south. So be vigilant along the Wisconsin-Illinois border is going to be one of my messages here in just a moment. Some of that snow coming down at a pretty good clip as we head towards Friday at 6 o'clock in the morning. That morning commute could be impacted by heavy snow. Let's st say stretching from Platteville to Mineral Point right up to Madison. Areas along the I-94 corridor, again, that's where we're targeting, could be where that heavier band sets up. But if this storm sinks further to the south, that heavy band could go south with it as well. And by the time we get into your Friday afternoon after lunch, drying out. So it's a quick weather system, but it's going to be a heavy weather system. This is what we're thinking. Widespread amounts of, let's say, three, four inches in the Madison area. That heavier band of six inches is going to set up very close to Madison, if not just north of Madison, just north of the I-94 corridor. But as I've mentioned a couple times here, we have some complexity that we're watching. While we're watching the I-94 corridor and points to the north, there has been a southward shift in this storm track. And it could go a little bit more to the south, so definitely be tuning in during our 10 o'clock show tonight for our latest updates. That's when we get our weather models in tomorrow morning with Kelly. And of course, we'll be here tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening with the latest. Here are the impacts on the roadways wherever that heavy band sets up. And again, Madison I-94 corridor right now, that's where we're targeting wet, heavy snow. There could be some road accumulation, some slippery spots, and I say some, tune in at 6. I'll be talking a bit about some of the complexities about the road conditions and where that snow will pile up and in some areas where it may not pile up quite as much because of the roads. Accumulating snow for your Friday morning, Friday a.m. commute, that's going to be impacted here in our bottom line. And alert day conditions that we're tracking for Sunday going on into your Monday, 
Later tonight at 10 o'clock, we're going to be tracking that weather system a bit more. So tune in for our 10 o'clock show as well. Here's alert day system number one Friday. Here's alert day conditions Sunday going into Monday for snow changing over to heavy rain. Very windy conditions too. And even after that weather system, we're eyeing up another unsettled period as we go Thursday, Friday into Saturday of the following work week. Want to prepare you, this is a good time to let you know, well, how can you submit your weather photos? Easy to do, channel3000.com slash weather. And I think we got a couple of weather photos to show you here, folks, how easy it's to do. You just click that post your own button. And we got a couple to show here. Linda says, hey, fun snow shadow. Well, Linda, I got news for you. You might have some more snow shadow shadows as we go into your Friday afternoon and into your Saturday. Thanks for sending us that picture. Cindy Houston here from Peola is showing us this beautiful sunset at 7 o'clock on Sunday. And what do I got here for this last one? A sunrise from the Research Park area. Thank you, Patrick, for showing us that photo, that pretty, almost looks like a sun pillar there. How gorgeous is that. Well, we have viewer photos. Well, we got to check out and see what's going on out there in traffic as well for this evening. We do have an incident eastbound between that I-39 exchange and 12, and that's causing, and that's a crash at exit 266, according to our latest updates here. So that's why 12 eastbound right now is a very slow go at 17 miles per hour. Our friends to the south and to the east in Janesville, good clip, got 70 miles per hour. That's where we should be going at the speed limit and about 70 miles per hour to the northwest in the Dells. But again, a heads up, Friday morning, commute's gonna be very, very, very different. So get yourself prepared for a snowy Friday morning commute. All right, Alex, thank you. If you're looking to check out a concert this summer, you're in luck. Four-time Grammy Award winner Lyle Lovett and his large band are performing in Madison on July 2nd at the Overture Center. The upcoming performance will feature songs from his latest album, 12th of June, throughout his career. He's produced 14 albums and is a member of both the Texas Heritage Songwriters Association Hall of Fame and the Texas Cowboy Hall of Fame. Tickets go on sale Friday at 10 a.m. and you can find a link on our website if you're interested. Still ahead tonight at 5, inflation still has yet to budge, but a new report is bringing some optimism for consumer experts. We'll break down the details when we come back. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Salisbury Healthcare is here to help. To help with your shoulder pain. Your knee injury. That hip that bothers you. With your foot or ankle pain. We focus on quality. We focus on results. And take time to listen. So that your care is the best care. For you. 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 For you. We're here for you. Sauk Prairie Healthcare Orthopedics. Listening, healing, caring. It's in our nature. I'm Jonathan Lawson, here to tell you about life insurance through the Colonial Pen Program. If you're age 50 to 85 and looking to buy life insurance on a fixed budget, remember the three Ps. The three what? The three Ps. What are the three Ps? The three Ps of life insurance on a fixed budget are price, price, and price. A price you can afford, a price that can't increase, and a price that fits your budget. I'm 54 and was a smoker, but quit. What's my price? You can get coverage for $9.95 a month. I'm 65, retired, and take medications. What's my price? Also $9.95 a month. I just turned 80 and I'm on a fixed income. What's my price? $9.95 a month for you two. If you're age 50 to 85, call now about the number one most popular whole life insurance plan available through the Colonial Pen Program. Options start at $9.95 a month. That's less than 35 cents a day. You cannot be turned down because of your health. No medical exam, no health questions. Your acceptance is guaranteed. And this plan has a guaranteed lifetime rate lock. So your rate can never go up for any reason. Options start at $9.95 a month. Plus, you get a 30-day money-back guarantee. So call now for free information, and you'll also get this free beneficiary planner. 
Use this valuable guide to record your important information and give helpful direction to your loved ones with your final wishes. And it's yours free, just for calling. So call now for free information. Call 1-800-914-3131 for your free information and your free gift. That's 1-800-914-3131. There's no risk or obligation. 1-800-914-3131. Call now. Creating family memories is what Maple Leaf Landscaping is all about. We design and build outdoor spaces that bring people together. Landscaped spaces for any size family. Functional, beautiful, a place everyone will enjoy. And it all starts with a free visit at your home by one of our landscape experts. So call Maple Leaf Landscaping today and have us create an outdoor living space for your home. You're watching News 3 Now at 5, moving forward. Well, as expected, the Federal Reserve is not cutting interest rates, but the board predicts a cut could come later this year if inflation drops. Michael George has the details. From the gas pump to the grocery store. Just trying to look for the best deal. Americans continue to deal with years of high inflation. It's really expensive out here. That's why the Federal Reserve has decided to keep its benchmark interest rate at a 20-year high. Inflation is still too high. Ongoing progress in bringing it down is not assured. High rates continue to make borrowing more expensive. Used car loans are up to nearly 12%. And the average credit card interest rate is at a record high. The Fed has kept the benchmark unchanged since July, believing it would lead to lower prices. But in that time, inflation has barely budged, remaining above 3% the entire time. Policymakers want it at just 2%. The Federal Reserve sees changes on the horizon. In a new report, the board predicts the job market and economy will both slow down in the coming months, causing inflation to drop. If that happens, the Fed could start cutting interest rates. If the economy evolves broadly as expected, it will likely be appropriate to begin dialing back policy restraint at some point this year. In its economic projections, the Federal Reserve officials are thinking there are going to be three quarter point drops this year. That could start as soon as the next meeting in May, but most people believe that it will begin at the June meeting. But the Fed warns it will only cut rates if inflation comes down. Michael George, CBS News, New York. We'll get a final check of the forecast when we come back. A truck crash can be life-changing. If you've been injured, call Groover Law Offices. We have a powerful team with the knowledge, resources, and history of results you'll need. Groover Law Offices. One call, that's all. Looking for a better probiotic? Try Florigen. It's refrigerated behind the pharmacy counter to maximize freshness and potency and deliver three times more good bacteria for supercharged digestive and immune support. Ask your pharmacist for Florigen probiotics today. Get an 11% rebate on everything at Menards. Mastercraft makes great doors inside and out, building the highest quality doors at the best price. This bright white six-panel interior door is $139.99 after rebate. Give your home an elegant look without the mess with Palisade waterproof wall tiles. They're durable, easy to install, don't require grout, and are ideal for any room in your home. A 10-pack of wall tiles is $59.99 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. Washington has become corrupt. Career politicians sell themselves to special interests and end up working for them and not you. I've worked hard, been fortunate. I don't need their special interest money, and I won't take it. If you decide to elect me as your next senator, I'll donate my entire salary to a Wisconsin charity every year. I'm Eric Hovde. I can't be bought, and I'll put you and our country first. I approve this message. Why choose between that new deck you've been wanting and that vacation you've been dreaming about? Get both. A deck that outlasts wood three to one and up to a seven day vacation on one of the top cruise lines or at one of our hundreds of resorts with no blackout date restrictions. Call now or visit the website for your new deck today. 
Hang on tight, Wisconsin, because fun just got a lot faster. It's Fast Play from the Wisconsin Lottery, an all-new style of lotto games that combine instant wins with the progressive jackpot. Playing is easy at any lottery retailer. Just print, play, and know if you're a winner instantly. The progressive jackpot starts at $10,000 and grows with each ticket sold. The share of the jackpot increases with the price of the ticket. Fast Play is available now only at Wisconsin Lottery Retailers. Catch the Bucks on Broadcast TV when they clash with the Celtics on your new local home for select Bucks games. Watch as Giannis and the Bucks ship up to Boston to tangle with one of the top teams in the league in an Eastern Conference showdown. Don't miss it when the Greek freak gets unleashed. Bucks, Celtics, on your new local home for select Milwaukee Bucks games. Tonight at 6.30 on WISC TV 3. When a truck accident happens, the results can be catastrophic. Our dedicated and proven team is here to help, and there's never a fee until we win. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. I'm Jalen Banks, and tonight at 6, I'll tell you the story of how the Madison community has rallied around one of its most prominent musicians after all of their musical equipment was stolen. Well, Chief Star Travis Kelsey reportedly in talks to host a reboot of the game show you may remember, Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? It would stream <laughs> on Amazon Prime, the original show you may remember. Jeff Foxworthy hosted it back from 2007 to 2011. Then it was rebooted by Fox in 2015 and again in 2019 for a season on Nickelodeon. The show features adults trying to answer questions from a fifth grade textbook with the assistance of fifth graders. Variety reports instead of a panel of fifth graders, the Kelsey reboot would feature celebrity guests. It sounds like that could be entertaining. I think so. Let's go to Alex, final check of the forecast. Yes, final check here. We have two alert days sats here to talk about the first one that we all know about is Friday morning commute two to five inches of snow that could be a wet heavy one definitely stay tuned that track could be shifting across the air we're keeping a close eye on that then for all of southern Wisconsin again for Sunday going into Monday for snow changing over to heavy rain and very windy as well but we're looking more at a rain scenario with that I'll track more about that coming up at our 10 o'clock show tonight. And if you want more unsettled weather, we're going next weekend. So staying on the busy side. going to be a busy guy. Thank you, Alex. We're back in 30 minutes for News 3 Now at 6. CBS Evening News is next.